Alright then everybody, welcome to a Clash of Kings mod. I was about to say a World of Ice and Fire mod. In fact, I had to try, I had to re-record this because I said a World of Ice and Fire mod at first because I'm so used to saying a World of Ice and Fire mod. But now we are doing Clash of Kings. You know, I will do this as a mini-series uh, alongside the Damon Blackfire series of on the, uh, on the World of Ice and Fire mod. Now, I have not played this game in ages well this mod in ages not that i playing the game of course but not the, mod, the, mod, not the mod in ages and the problem is with the mod i don't know anything about it compared to a world of ice and fire you know i have more experience in a world of ice and fire the last time i actually played it was me testing a world of ice and fire versus a clash of kings i eventually went with a world of ice and fire i found it more fun for me but i think i did some injustice to a clash of kings and I know some of you want me to play this and I said okay fine if you guys promise to help me I will be willing to play I'll be willing to play now I put a poll to you guys as my subscribers I put a poll and I told you guys to vote on who we should do a character on I gave you guys three options that one of the first ones was Warwick Mandolin the second was Jory Coldsdale and the third was Tywin Westerford now the as I'm currently looking at the screen there, I'm telling you, so it's 44% of you have voted for Warwick Mandolin, 44% of you have voted for Jory Coldsteel, and 11% of you have voted for Tyrone Waterford. Now, you might not know who, what the hell I'm talking about now, but if you go to my community section tab on my channel, you'll see the, the context in the comments below of each character. So, according to this, Warwick Mandolin and Jory Coldsteel are tied. They are tied one on one, uh, so the ratio of one on one against each other. So it's it's quite uh, it's quite uh, it's quite tight here. Now, it, this may change, of course, as I as I wait for as I wait for uh, time to go past. So I said, okay, I'm going to start this series, and I guess we can do both of these, not at the same time, of course, but in successive uh, series. Now, I think I'm going to do this first series on Warwick Mandolin. Okay, the first series on Warwick Mandolin, and I will tell you a bit about Warwick Mandolin. Warwick Mandolin is the bastard son of Wendell Mandolin. Okay, so House Mandolin, you might know them from White Harbor. They're the, they're the owners of White Harbor. His goal is to establish Mandolin rule in the Reach. Okay, so we're talking about Mandolin rule in the Reach. Now you might be thinking, what the hell is what the hell the Mandolin is doing in the Reach? Actually, House Mandolin was from the Reach. They're actually one of the few houses in the uh, North. Who are uh, who have uh, who have their religion as the faith of the seven? So House Mandalay is actually from the Reach. They've been kicked out of the Reach, and they've been uh, seeking refuge. And it was the Starks who accepted them as vassals. Now we are going to play as a character who is going to bring back Mandalay rule in the Reach. But we're not just going to take back the ancestral home of House Mandalay. We are going to actually take over the entire reach and perhaps even a couple more areas of the, of Westeros and we will proclaim our own kingdom. So uh, that's that's the goal with Warwick Mandalay. And uh, uh, if we won't pro proclaim our own kingdom, we can help some pretenders take over the you know the Iron Throne. I, I'm not too sure on how it works in this in this series, but of course with your input, I'm, I'm going to need not I'm going to need lots of it. So please leave comments down below and how I can run this series. Okay, so let's get started. So you go you go for a stroll in the streets of your hometown when you hear the, that King Robert has been gored to death by a large boar. Oh, honestly, this makes me sad. The fishmonger that you've been speaking with tells you that Eddard Stark, the Hand of the King, tried to usurp the throne, but the valiant King Joffrey, but the valiant King Joffrey's advisors managed to follow his plot, and peace has surely been restored. Ha <laughs> ha. However, a few days later, a weary traveler arrives with more news. Following the imprisonment of Lord Stark, the Northern Lords marched south to defeat the Lannisters and free their liege. They ambushed the army of the Kingslayer, routed his forces and captured Sir Jaime, after which they broke the siege of Riverrun. All of a sudden, the gods, no, the gods, sorry, I beg your pardon. All of a sudden, the odds seem to be turned against Joffrey and his name is no longer shouted in the streets. Making a quick decision, you decide to strike out. Hurriedly selling off to your, uh, selling your meager positions to a fat innkeeper and packing only the most essential. You finally feel like you control your own destiny and that whatever course you take, great deeds await you. Okay, so let's continue. So we're going to be a male. We are going to be, uh, so no, our father is, was a, wait, hang on. 
What's the most... I suppose the most... Okay, I guess we'll go for a landless knight here. This is the closest we can get to, I guess... Uh, I guess to the father of our character. You spent your early life as a... Well, we could... We could possibly go for the hedge knight route because we are the bastard son. And so we'll be not a noble in training, perhaps. Um, page at noble's court, no. Okay, we'll be a novice. Later you become not a squire. Uh, hang on. Is there anything like a hedge knight? A cell sword, perhaps? That might be a good one. I do like that one, actually. Let's go for that. The reasons for oh we oh I can actually see my stats here my starting stats oh I can see now uh, that's quite nice actually that's quite nice so we get one point into power strike plus five into weapon master we got some riding that's good um not a noble no it wouldn't make sense I think to spend the early life as a noble in training okay. Alright then, uh, so I'll just scroll down this very very slowly so you can read yourself. I will uh, not read it, it's uh, too too much, too much. And if you know my World of Ice and Fire series, you know that I don't read. <laughs> I, I always skip things and then I don't, don't know what's happening because I'm not reading. <laughs> okay, done. Okay, we will click this, allow me to quit without saving. Okay, so we are going to be Warwick. Warwick Man... Mandolin. So not Mandali, Mandolin. Okay, that's who we're gonna be. Okay, we'll put all the points into strength because I am aware I've just read like a teeny wincy guide on, on the Clash of Kings, and I'm apparently you can only get a sword if you have minimum strength 20 12, sorry, minimum strength strength 12. So I don't know if that's true, but okay. We'll get that power strike up to four. Uh, anything else we can do I guess I suppose pathfinding now I need to be careful here because I don't, I'm sure not all of these are party skills hang on let's take a look so this is going to be a party skill because I'm so used to a lot of ice and fires that uh, maybe things are different uh, for example leadership is a is a leader skill so maybe a point into leadership now because in world of ice and fire mod this is a uh, party skill it adds up with companions and stuff and I think that's quite cool but in this mod, we need to actually up our leadership ourselves. Okay. All right, we'll get we'll get some pathfinding, I suppose, as well. And uh, wound treatment will probably be. Oh, we have one in wound treatment anyway. So okay, athletics, I suppose. Okay, we'll get that one point in athletics and up the one-handed proficiency. Yes. Okay. Now here we are. Now I can go for the book-looking mandalies, and the book-looking mandalies are, are apparently bold. Right, they're apparently bold, and so we could go for those, or we could go for the kind of like show-looking mandalies, which I think they look more, they look more unique. Uh, no, this won't work, I don't think. Uh, nah, I guess this is kind of uh, all right. Um, oh no, let's just do that. Okay. All right, I'm going to fiddle around and I'll be back. Oh, I think that's better. I think that looks better. All right, we'll go with that then. Okay, you join a merchant and his family traveling, uh, towards, traveling towards Storm's End. Green shoots of wheat, barley and oats are all across the dark soil of the rolling hills. And on the lower slopes of the snow-capped mountains, herd of cattle, arox and sheep are gazing on the summer grass. Okay, uh, so this is going to be a di bit different to the start of World of Ice and Fire mod. Occasion to use okay. Uh, arrow host calls when it. Oh, so it's talking about the siege of Storms End slightly. Okay, we'll just we'll just get going. Oh, we have a scythe. I'll probably take out my uh, sword or oh, this shield. is very this shield is very very small. Oh, look at this guy! Look at this guy! Oh, wait, wait, what the hell? I have a shield bash on. Oh, I, oh, whoa, I'm not used to this combat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shield bash is on. Wait, whoa, what the heck? The shield bash was on, so I can I'm I'm very not used to that at all. Okay then. Osbert Clerk. I'm gonna actually read this because I don't know at all what's going on. So I will actually read this um properly. 
Ah, you're awake. It's good to see that you can still walk. You're lucky that we came along. I had been speaking with the castle guards when we heard the sounds of a fight, and see what to and uh, ran to see what was happening. We didn't arrive in time to prevent you getting knocked down, but we may have saved you from getting your throat cut. Now, maybe you can help me. You seem a little disorientated. I do not know who you are, but where you're from, and or where you're from, and to tell you the truth, I do not care. I am simple. I am just a simple merchant, and if I've learnt anything, it's to, it's that the merchants are the first to suffer in hard times. So I'm planning to travel to another country, a peaceful and rainless one, I hope. I have heard that in the free cities, gold flows from watery fountains, or maybe I'll try to, I'll try my fortune in Pentos or Volantis. Anyways, I advise you before I leave. To do the same and seek your own fortune in other lands. Hell no, we're not going to do that. Hell no, absolutely not. More is soon to engulf the Seven Kingdoms. Now that the hand has been executed and the people will be nothing more than war for that. Poverty feeds on the weak and the strong men abuse the sword and the lance to impose their power and control over the humble ones. In order to trade, we must pay heavy taxes in each city, sort out bandits and pirates and pray that local lord ignorant and lazy do not decide to get half our merchandise to fund his next feast or buy a new horse for his son but i'm going i'm getting ahead of myself take my advice and go across a narrow sea until a new king has been crowned and anointed by the high septon law and unity will remain a vulture's feasting table so i say seek your destiny elsewhere i think i'll stay war brings opportunity and i mean to seize my chance make a name for myself Oh, well, I suppose you're right at that, at that. But remember this. War also brings maimed men and raped women, dead children and shattered hopes. Oh, I guess he's, I guess he's kind of right on that one, on that regard. Still, you have a certain look and affability to you. Take the silver and remember me, should you ever make something of yourself. Thank you, my friend. Fair travels to you. We will make this guy... The hand of the king. No, okay, well, probably not. That's a bit too much. Okay. Yes, we can press tab to leave. Good. All right. So I'm gonna go into camp. Is that where? Is that where we can do it? Or mod options? Yes. Um. Oh, actually, health bar of enemy troops. That might be nice, actually. Uh. Okay, bodyguards. Where where is the where is the shield bash thing that I want to remove? Uh, shield bash, shield bash. Anti woman. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, this is very. This is actually has loads and loads of actually loads of different stuff here. This does nothing. What? Why is that there then? What happens if I untick that? Okay, penalty, range penalty from wherever. Sure, we can do that. Make it more realistic. And okay, we'll allow drowning in missions, perhaps. Okay. I don't know if that makes it too difficult. As I said, I'm not, uh, I'm not at all, uh, not at all, no, uh, no this, you know, no this uh, mod. I don't know at all. Okay, so how do we get rid of shield bash? Because that, that's going to be a problem for me. That is going to be a problem for me. Okay. Key settings. Is that there? Okay. Here it is. Okay. Uh, no, it's not there. How do we, how do you turn off shield bash? Oh, it's, it's, it's okay, I suppose. Okay. So we are here. How much money do we have? 300 coins. And here we are with relatively bad armor. Okay. Let's, let's get going then. So maybe join visit the tavern, see what's going on. I'm and I'm sorry for this very very uh short this very very slow start. Marcha Longbowman. Uh oh th there is there's lots of cell cell swords here apparently then I guess. Okay, a new beginning part one. Hang on. The merchant gave you a okay. Okay, talk to Septon Garibald in the castle hall of Weeping Town to learn more. Okay, we can perhaps do that. Okay, let's visit the tavern once more to see what's over here. Cell sword skirmishes. Oh, a bit expensive for three of you. I'm not too sure how good you guys are. I have literally no idea who uh, who is good, like which troops are good in this mod and which troops are bad. Brindon Storm. Greetings, fellow traveller. 
any, by any chance could you offer me a helping hand, by the kindness of your heart? Okay, I shall tell you, but know that there is a tale of gross iniquity that I, I warn you in advance, lest you are a choleric temp, lest you are of a choleric, choleric temperament, and so become incensed, incensed at injustice done unto me that you do yourself harm. Okay, well, well we're, not, we're not that much. Calm down, calm down, Mister Brendan Storm. I am by training a maester. I am by training a maester of the citadel, but condemned by the jealousy of the thick-headed archmaesters in my archmaesters in my brotherhood to make my living an uh, in itinerant. Oh my God, the the reading level of this is beyond me. It's beyond me, absolutely beyond me. I'm dyslexic, by the way. Uh, I have never been a good reader in my life, and this uh, these key these uh, certain vocabularies are a bit too high above above my caliber. Okay. <laughs> I was hired by a merchant of Ashford to cure his son. He fell into a coma after a fall from his balcony. I successfully uh, trepanned uh, uh, the patient's skull to reduce the cranial swelling, but the family ignored my advice to treat their ensuing fevers with a tint of willow bark. And the boy died. The father then, rather than reward me for my efforts, charged me with sorcery, gave me a master of the citadel. Such is the ignorance and ingratitude of mankind. Oh, poor guy. Oh, so this guy is probably a healer or something like this. How much do you cost? Uh, just so I could teach me some. Uh, how much do you cost then? Oh, I don't think he costs any money. Uh, okay, fine, we'll take him. We'll take him, we'll take him. Okay, let's leave then. Uh, actually, this is the marketplace, horse. See if oh okay okay then there's mules okay they're cheap but we're not gonna get that obviously okay we this is kind of too little for us oh there's a male coif but we can't equip it uh we can't equip it we need strength 14 okay this rusty glaive on a second sell that I think I'm not going to really use it I don't think uh this sword swing dam is 18 damn Damn, that's very little. Okay. That 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 wouldn't do crap in a world of ice and fire mod. <laughs> that would not do anything. Okay, hang on. Uh, so we need we're on weeping tower. I thought it was in Storm's End. Okay, Septon Garibald in the castle. Okay. I thought we start we spawned in Storm's End. This is what I mean when I don't uh, when I don't read properly. Courtier Bard Septon Garibald. I am Septon Garibald. May the Father above watch over you. Now how can I help you? Do you have any tasks for me? No, not right now, but I heard that one of the tenants in, of Car uh, Caranol have been seeking a knight to get rid of an um, white or a Grump King. Oh, is there white walkers in this mud? Who can tell what goes on in a peasant's mind? He has made his home in the tavern. I am overheard of the... I have also overheard the captain of the guard, Sir Clifford Gower, talk about some letters. He needs delivered to some minor lord. Sir Clifford went out hunting this morning, but he should be back in a few hours. Ah, yes. If you have the time, Warwick Mandolin, I need a letter delivered to the Archmaester in Harrodon at the Citadel in Old Town. Oh, not at Harrodon, that's the guy's name, never mind. Ah, and we received a raven yesterday. Apparently the Night's Watch is going to deal with this so-called king beyond the wall. And a Lord Commander is asking... Okay, Abel went. Alright, fine. Very well, we'll do that. Thank you. Okay. So, that's now done. Uh, oh, wow. Crap. Alright, so king beyond the wall. We need 150 renown to do that. We just got a bunch of quests. Damn. Okay, we need to go to... The, deliver the letter to the Archmates at Harren... Archmaster Har Harrow Don at the Citadel. Okay. The Captain of the Guards needs someone to deliver the letter. Okay, we'll we'll talk to him in, in a sec. Oh damn, there's so many quests. There is so many quests. Okay, let's go to the castle then and talk to Sir Clifford, whatever his name was. Uh, I assume this is him, Sir Clifford Gower. Yes, can I help you? Sir Clifford, Septon Garibald told me you need you had need of someone to deliver a letter. Oh yes, I do. The maiden's daughter of Simon Templeton, the Knight of the Nine Stars, is turning thirteen this next moon, and Sir Simon's uncles have decided to 
uphold a tawny in her honour. My late wife was a Templeton by birth, making a young girl my niece by marriage. I have been invited to attend the melee, but my duties keep me from here. My, my duties keep me here. However, I was always fond of my lady wife, and for her sake I wish to send a name day present to the young girl. Okay. We'll take this letter and this ruby ring. Okay. Sure. We can do that. We'll take the letter and the ruby ring. Let's take a look. So we got a ruby ring. Sell them for 200. Perhaps we can take that. <laughs> we can sell it. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so... We need to go to... Snakewood in the Vale. Okay, okay. We'll probably go to Old Town first. Okay. Let's head over to Old Town. But where is that other place? So that is close to... Snakewood in the Vale. Okay. I have no idea where the hell that is. Oh, this play this this mod has loads of places. Damn. So Snakewood in the Vale. Snakewood. Ah, okay. So it should be somewhere here. Okay, we'll we'll we'll, we'll take a look at that later. Okay. All right. Hopefully we don't get ambushed. Ah, you've been awarded the right to carry a banner. All right. Sure. Let's take a look. Oh, that's a nice looking banner. Uh, but we won't take that. Okie dokie. Oh, these are some nice banners. Oh, I'm liking this one. I'm liking this one. We'll probably go with that one, but I'll just look at other banners just in case. Oh, there is actually so much, so many. Damn. That is good. Okay, we'll go with that one. Nice Mandali banner there. Okie dokie. Hopefully we don't get attacked uh, because I don't have a horse and I'm not very confident without uh, a horse. Okay, we can get some Stormland and Le Levies from here just to help uh, buff up our army. I I do not really know uh, what you know what we can achieve uh, with uh, with Stormland and Levies. I don't know how good they are or, or, or anything like that. So yes, uh, Karen Hall. I swear we had to do something there. Oh, we had to talk to that farmer. I, I'll probably do that later. Okay, we... Okay, never mind. Okay, oh, so I know in this mod you can visit various different places. Uh, and you can get XP. Just like in A World of Ice and Fire. What are you? You are looters. Can we fight you? Okay, we won't get involved then. Uh, fine, that guy probably had them. Oh yeah, this is what I mean, we can explore the runes and apparently we get XP, so we'll take a look. Oh, I do want a horse though. I do want a horse. Oh yes, yeah, okay, sure. So how do we gain XP, like, do we have to click on something? Okay. Okay, to finish reading. Uh, okay. Oh, so this is Summer Hall, right? Where Prince Rhaegar was born. Okay, we haven't got anything so far. Yeah, as you guys can see, I'm gonna need help. I'm gonna need help. Oh, is that a statue of Damon the Fourth Blackfire? Yeah, uh, you guys would know if you watch my World of Ice and Fire series. The plaque on the statue reads Daeron Targaryen, the second of his name, King of the Andals. Rowan. Wait, hang on. Is that the guy that fought? Uh, fought Damon Blackfire the first, or at least he was the king during the time when first Blackfire. If that's the case, then I'm going over to the statue. <laughs> uh, I'm spitting at that statue because we're playing as a Blackfire. In what the heck? You're right there, mate. What's guy doing? You're right there. Oh, villager. Okay, let's talk to you. Okay, <laughs> right then. <laughs> <laughs> the guy is clearly drunk or something. Yeah, we're playing as a Blackfire, so that's why I'm spitting at him. Uh, spitting at that Targaryen. Is that the only XP we get from here? Perhaps. Perhaps, okay. Oh, wait, hang on. Can I climb up there? Okie dokie, let's see. Let's take a look here. Let's take a look here. Alright, uh, if you guys uh, 
uh, have any of you guys watched Seven Kings Must Die? You know, it's a continuation of the Last Kingdom TV series. Uh, what did you guys think of it, by the way? What did you guys think of it? See, you know, it was a, it was an interesting one. Okay, the remains of two gro uh, two grown persons and a child are scattered around the small the small room. From uh, the position of their skeletons, it appears they died after being locked inside of the room, or perhaps from. Oh, okay, okay, so. Um... I think this was these are uh, they've died from uh they've died from what's it called? Uh from the fires of of uh summer of the summer hall fire, I assume. I feel like I'm just making it up and I'm confusing it with another place. Uh I don't know. But considering that they died of this, uh you know, it's this uh it's from uh when you're deprived of oxygen. That's what it is, uh, you know. Uh, you know, I'm a medical student, so I'm just, that was kind of good, uh, good, what's it called, good uh, revision for me. Inside the crumbling tower, the remains of a large cauldron and various uh, alchemical equipment is scattered. Can we pick up anything from here? Maybe, is there like a chest? I, I'm, I'm pretty sure they must have had some, like, some sort of chests or something somewhere here. Maybe not in this particular place, but in other locations. I don't know. I think that's it then for here. I won't waste too much time on. Okay, imagine that skeleton just jump scares me. Oh, damn. I I'll quit playing this mod. There and then. Okay, so what was I saying? Yes. Ah, something appears to have been... Oh. It reads, High in the halls of the kings who are gone, Jenny would dance with her ghosts. Ah, that's the song that Podrick Payne sung in... Uh, in... What was it? Season 8, Episode 2, I think. Anyways... Let's move over here. Oh yeah, by the way, I, I didn't actually give the warning to you guys uh, like I did in the World of Ice Fire mod. I should give you guys a first and final warning that this, uh, uh, you know, the series of A Clash of Kings is going to uh, contain spoilers to Game of Thrones and to A Clash of Kings, uh, not A Clash of Kings, bro, what the heck, and to A Dance, of, and, and to a dance uh, of the Dragons, what's that called? House of the Dragon, yeah, not Dance of the Dragon, what the heck. Okay. So we're going to, it's going to contain spoilers to both of them, okay? So just keep that in mind, please, guys, okay? Keep that in mind. Okay, let's head towards Ashford, see if there's anything we can pick up. Oh, we've leveled up as well. Let's just take a look. So character. All right, so let's get that strength up to 14, just so we can start taking a look. Uh, we can put that cloth on our heads. That might be good. Let's get that shield up by one, I suppose, and maybe get a point in Iron Flesh. And up that one handed proficiency. Okay, so male coif on our heads. Thank you very much. Now we look like soldiers. Now we look like soldiers. All right, head over to Ashford. We'll visit the tavern. So here there is a cell sword recruit, Laro the Traveller. Ah, uh, greetings, friend. You look like the kind of man who. Okay, okay, I'm okay. I'm not reading that because I know what that is. <laughs> I just looked at the options that he provided, and yeah, a storm. A, okay, that's. A, I thought it said Stormlander Lancer for a second, but we're in Ashford, so it wouldn't be right. Okay, let's head over to uh, Old Town. Oh man, the Reach gives me uh, gives me terrible nightmares from a World of Ice and Fire mod because of the Rubber Knights. <laughs> oh, what was that? Uh, was that like a? You know, broken men, reachman, crossbowmen. I don't think we're in a position to be able to fight them, to be honest. I'll, I'll probably want to avoid them. Okay, let's head over to Old Town. Outlaws. They didn't attack me, which I'm happy with. Old Town. Okay. Uh, who did we need to deliver the... I think it was to, like, the, the maesters, right? Yes. Uh, we need to head over into Old Town. And head over and meet... The, no, not the Guildmaster. I didn't mean to do that. Oops. We've got 300 experience. What? Was that because we met the Guildmaster? Or was it from something else that I missed? I think it was from something else. Right? Surely, surely it was not from... It was not from meeting him. Archmaster Harridan. Here you are. Take this letter. Oh, who cares? Another septum preaching to us about how our efforts are futile, but all truth lies with the Father above. Bah! A bunch of sheep is what they are. What do you mean? 
Their faith has been trying to curb our influence for hundreds of years. Feel, feel like they should be the only ones spreading knowledge. Or their version of it at least. Sheep is what they are. Shackled in their huts of ignorance. Did you know that Baylor the Blessed was considering a request to bring the citadel under his authority of the High Septum when he died? Good thing his uncle killed him. Viserys was a much better king. Didn't know that, did you? Oh, there's no written evidence, but I'm sure as rain, Viserys murdered Baylor and took the throne. Wait, when he said the, there's their sheep, mere sheep, it reminds me of uh, Edward Longshanks from... Edward Longshanks from, uh, what's it called? From Braveheart, when he does that very well. Do you believe in the seven, Warwick Mandolin? Yes, we do. Then do you, I say, bah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Weirdo. Okay, was that it? Alright. Are we done there? I feel like we're done. Okay. Sure. Okay, we'll go and visit the tavern over here. Might as well. Oh, this is the same tavern from Barrett Barrettton in a World of Ice Fire Mods. City Watchman. Sell Sword Recruits, Sell Sword Skirmishers, Sir Felton Flowers, Sir Roger Osgre Osgrey. Greetings, Traveller. I am Sir Roger Osgrey, a knight and the son of Stanfast. Well met, Sir Roger. What does a noble knight of Stanfast find himself doing in a tavern such as this? I am the fifth son of my father, Sir Edwin, and as such, it seems to me being somewhere unlikely that I would ever inherit something of value. So I have been travelling around the world these eight, last eight months trying to find a noble lord to whom I might swear allegiance. It has become a bit of a tra tradition that this youngest son of the Osgrey family ride out on the day that they receive their knighthood. My family has proven itself to be quite a fertile one. Heh. I have uncles and great uncles, nephews and brothers in abundance. Might be the old world of Frey has fathered a brood that could rival that of dozen of a dozen cats, but my father is half his age, and likely to outbreed him. Well, honestly, what a, what a lad then. What a lad. That's that Genghis Khan level. By uh, you know within a within a thousand years, like uh, within a thousand years, one every two hundred people of Westeros will be a descendant of this guy's dad. Then my older brothers, Admir. And Duncan are to inherit Stanfast and Coldmoat. Duncan holding Coldmoat in Admir's name. And my sister Rowanna has been promised to Sir Alan Ladybright, and thus stands one day be the Lady of Brightfast. But that leaves little for my father's remaining children, so we must make our own fortune. I am no Kingslayer, no Knight of Flowers, but I do find myself somewhat adequate with a sword and lance. I might be able to use an extra sword. 1.5k. I'm sorry, dude. We can't do that. Sir so, Felton Flowers, I assume you are expensive also, so we won't actually take you. Okay, let's take a look at your marketplace. Horse. No, not goods. I mean horse. Oh, damn. Okay, horses are a bit expensive, aren't they? Okay, horses are a bit expensive. We need to make some bank. We do need to make some bank. Okay, see if we can get a fight with anyone here. I would love to get a fight. There doesn't seem to be many bandit parties or something around. Like there is in a World of Ice and Fire mod. Uh, let's see if we can get some looters or something so that we can start fighting. Alright, um, doesn't seem to be that many looters and bandits, but we'll take a look, we'll take a look. Alright. So this is Summer Hall. We already we already went there. Uh, we need to go not to Storm's End, but more towards Weeping Town because I forgot to go and talk to the peasant in the tavern. So we will, we will should uh, do that. You feel a bit peckish and decide to settle down for a while. Okay, you decide to. Oh wow, some yanks on the sh fish. Okay, yank it back. The fish got away. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, the Howling Hill. Let's go over to you. And I can't really see shit in this forest, so I need to be very careful. If you don't want to get jumped by some crazy bandits. Okay. At the Howling Hill, we can explore the area. Looks like no one has been here in a thousand years. Interesting. Alright. Let's gain some experience. Sure. Sure. 
All right. The cave beneath the gold and uh, garnered wherewith appears to have been. Oh, there's a wherewith here. It appears to be the home of some people not too long ago. The area is isolated and deep within the rainwood. Perhaps the previous tenants were outlaws. Ah. Okay, is that it? Is that it for this place? Let's take a look. Uh, maybe go over to Weirwood Tree. Maybe that might. Uh, apparently, that's the Weirwood Tree, right? I, that's what I understood. So, if we go over to Weirwood Tree, we can maybe get something. The Weirwood is old and. Garnel, the tree itself, hard as iron. The wood is valuable, but would not take a long time to cut it. But it would take a long time to cut it down, okay. I wonder how many places like this there are. That might be, it might be uh, cool. Okay, what about this? A stone carved with, the, with ruins is standing close to the entrance of the cave. Ah, here. Oh, that's, that's a cool one. That's very cool. The runes appear to show the great battle fought between the first men and the children of the forest on the one side and the Andal invaders on the other. The central uh, inscription shows a great garnel tree, not unlike the one overlooking the cave, okay? That's that's quite cool. I mean, honestly, that's it's actually quite cool to see this mod like this. Like, uh, maybe, you know, I maybe might have underestimated this mod, honestly. You know, I'm all, I'm all for trying new things. Is there anything else? Wait, what was that? Oh, let's go over and let's see if we can get some XP from this. Oh, it's a chest. An old chest. We can open it. A weird branch for 2 Wow, okay. Okay, a weird branch costs for 2k. Um, why not? Why not? We'll take you. Head over to Weeping Town. Talk. Maybe we can sell that. Oh, and now it's, four, uh, it's 400. Huh. Okay. Let's sell it anyway. Okay. Uh, we'll get, we'll get uh, 560 coins from that. Okay, I think we need to go to the tavern now and talk to... Talk to S good man Tom. Is that you? William the Traveller. Oh, no, no, okay. Who was it? You find him in the tavern. It, it, it says that there's a farmer. Is it one of you guys? Yes, can I help you? Are you from Carnhill? Carnhill? What was it? Carnhill? Carnhill? Ah, oh, yes, yes, I am Tom the Elder, sent me here to find a knight, true and honorable. Um, yes, Septon Garibald said you might have been having problems with a, uh, white? Yes, yes, a, rev a revenant, a white, a ghost. I saw it myself only three weeks ago, pale and with red eyes. It was flying for the night in a crate made of bones. Made me shiver and make no mistake, the men of the village agreed with me. We need a faithful man to slay the beast at night, like Aemon the Dragonite from the stories. Are you a knight? Oh, I'm sorry, okay. Oh, okay, we'll just go. All right. But if, if it's the white, don't we need, like, special weapons to kill it? Could... Do, could we do it? I, I'm not too sure if we can actually fight the white with uh, with our mere weapons. And I highly doubt our rusty sword here will do anything to the white. The, the white will literally be laughing at us <laughs> as we fail to as we fail to kill it. Uh, so I don't know if we should do it now. I I'll probably will wait for your, you guys to leave a comment on that because I have no idea if that's a good idea to do. Okay. I just want to get some fights. Come on bandits, honorable men. Okay. They sound to be they sound like they're good. Okay. Okay. Just That's just making it easier for some people to go to war. Not my business. We have some level ups. Okay. We'll get that one point extra in agility. I, put, I, I, uh, I guess and we'll get another point in athletics, maybe, I don't know. Okay, we'll just put our power, uh, efficiency up by one. So here, oh, there's 18 looters. Uh, can we beat them with our troops? I don't think so. I don't think so. Will they chase me? They're not chasing me. What if we recruit some more soldiers? Some more soldiers. 18 looters against seven of us. If I was on horseback, I'd do that. Oh, they're following me. Okay. They are confident to fight me, it seems. Okay, we need more troops. Where can I go? I'll go over to... Oh, that's a castle, right? Oh, damn it. We don't... But they're not, they're not following me. I'm so confused. 
But looters in this mod, are they like, are they powerful? Oh, I have no idea if they're like naked men like in, uh, like in, what's it called? Like in, you know, uh, in a World of Ice and Fire mod. Hmm. City Watchman, perhaps we ought to take some of you. Um, Reachman Crossbowman. Maybe we take you then, and that might make a difference. Okay, this is probably a companion. That's just a bard. Here's a cell sword skirmisher. We won't take you, City Watchman. Let's take a look at you. Oh no, that's not someone offering his services. Okay. Uh, okay. I guess we should do this because we want to. We want to fight. We want, we want to fight and we want to be confident when we fight. Okay, where did those guys go? Oh, come on. They, they left, didn't they? Okay, we'll spend an hour in prayer. Oh, we have 16 days of food left. Okay. That's good. Oh, so it actually tells you how much days of food is left. So we have plenty of food. Okay, I need to go over and fight some people. That's what I want to do. All right, farmstead. Let's go look over here. Visit the farmstead. What happens if we do this? Oh, that's a long walk and I'm not on a horse. Never mind, we'll come back later. I need to get first to get a horse. First and foremost. Okay. Man, where are... I want some bandits. Honourable men, let's take a look at you. Oh, okay. So they're just, they're just guys who are searching. It's like it's like the um, Brotherhood Without Banners from World of Ice and Fire, then, it seems. Okay, I want to fight people. Where are there looters? I want looters. I want to fight looters. Where can I fight looters? Ugh. I want to fight looters. Hang on, who was that? Just a caravan. Just the caravan. Wait, what did I see there? Ah, looters. 21 looters. Get, get over here. Get over here. Oh, we're faster than them. We should be able to reach them. There it is. Okay. We have 12 men fit for battle. Brindon Storm. Oh, I've completely forgot we have a companion. We might need to actually get you uh, some sort of good weapon. Okay, so let's see what do we have here. Alright, so these guys are archers. Let's move you back. Slightly back. Please, can we get back? Infantry. We'll advance you ever so slightly. Okay, I get it. So when my shield is up... I, I don't like that at all, man. And this, that's gonna get that's gonna need me to get used to, because I'm not used to that at all. I just not use a not use a shield then. I don't know. Do these guys have thrown weapons or ranged weapons? If they do, then then rip us. Oh, one of them has a bow. I think. Oh crap. Oh, they have bows. Oh damn! I did not know. Okay. Oh, there's a health bar. Oh, we are doing no damage. Oh my god. We're doing no damage here. Oh, crap. We are doing no damage here. I don't understand. My sword is so bad. Oh, I think actually the shield bash is quite useful. Oh, it's, oh, it kind of pauses the enemy. Ah, that's actually quite cool. Okay, let's swing at you. Oh, crap. Oh, he's, he's literally stuck doing nothing. Oh, okay, I get it. I get it now. Okay, that's quite cool. All right, we won. Right? No? No, we didn't win. Uh, who's left? Okay. Everyone can charge. Uh, but the shield bash, it's its quite cool. I love, I love that, actually. You can literally just make them stun. So it's like a stunning sort of thing. It stuns them, I didn't know. Or knocks them on their ass or something. Alright, let's all right, take him out, boys. Yeah, we're going to need a better weapon. A better weapon for sure. Oh what? <laughs> a 
was so good. That was amazing. Alright, cool. I just need to get used to it, but I, I like the mechanism. I do like the mechanism. It's quite good. I just need to get used to it. Okie dokie. So, uh, we got two kills there. Alright, uh, we'll, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, we'll share it with our men. Oh, whoa. Whoa, okay, we got some good stuff here. Oh, we're taking that chip darming sword. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, our, our armor is actually quite decent. Actually, yeah, armor is decent. I won't lie, I won't lie. There's a cub, which is not that great. Uh, there's a light spear. Perhaps we can equip that to ourselves. Okay, here's our money making then. Finally. Finally. We just need to get a horse and we will be set. We will be set. Okie dokie. Let's leave. And uh, is Golden Grove is, I assume, is a castle. Yeah, okay. Where's the nearest city? I see Ashford over there. Perhaps we go to Tumbleton. Let's go over to Tumbleton then. And visit the uh, the merchant over there. Okay. We can sell all of this. Actually, hang on. Uh, no, that rusty sword is crap. I was going to give it to um, our companion. Actually, I'll take that, actually. Maybe, okay, I'll keep the cub just in case. Not, not the cub, I mean the club. Uh, just in case, and we'll give that maybe to our companion. I forgot his name already. I forgot his name. What was his name? Uh, so we made seven seven hundred and forty one coins. Good, good, good. Or right, Brendan Storm. That's that's the name. Okay, let me take a look at your equipment items in your inventory. Wait, what? No, wait. I did the wrong thing. Whoops. Okay, here's a ragged gambeson. Take that, good sir. All right, you have a club already. A club already, and that seems to be basically the same, right? Yeah, yeah, it's the same. No, no difference there. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Done. Okay, we'll sell those equipments at Tumbleton. There it is, 90 coins. Okay, good. Um, maybe we can get a horse now. I don't know. Perhaps. Hopefully. Uh, no, we can't. Oh, that's, that's sad. A donkey. We can get a donkey. <laughs> that would be quite funny if we operate a donkey, but nah, we won't get a donkey. Of course not. We're not that... Uh, we're not that... Uh, 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 we're not that. So what's it called? We're not that desperate. Okay, yeah, we didn't get any. Uh, exp oh, we got XP. So if you meet tra guild masters, it means you get XP in this mod. So we did get XP from that. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to level up our character. Uh, okay, we'll just get that charisma up to six, I guess. I suppose I'm get that power strike up by one. And I will end the episode here, I think, uh, because I don't know what I'm doing. I'll be honest. I have no idea what I'm doing. So I'll end the episode here and I will ask for your uh, for your help. Basically, I'll ask for your help. Uh, let me know what I can do and how I can play this mod and all that good stuff. Uh, I feel like I've been doing it terribly wrong today and I missed a lot of stuff. So please do let me know and I will be back in the next episode. And if this does well, of course. So thank you very much and goodbye.